This episode of Best Chance Outdoors, we are heading up to beautiful Port Protection, Alaska. So come on with us, you're in for an adventure. As some of you know, we have a friend by the name of Bill Baker. I've known him since I was five. He's been a member of our Goose Club. He's the one that got us going to the Bahamas. And at 91 years old, he still makes it out duck and goose hunting with us too. <laughs> and he's had a house up in Alaska for 20 years. And he's invited my family to come with him. Well, not only does he have a house there, He's got a custom made 40 foot boat. Made by a gentleman by the name of David Spenson. Who greeted us the way I've never been greeted personally. If you ask me, nothing says welcome to Alaska like freshly caught and cooked Dungeness crab. So after two plane rides overnight in Seattle, one more plane ride making the milk run that they call it up into Wrangell, we jumped on the boat and made our way over to Fort Protection. Now that the dog and pony show's over with, with, with getting there and how well we ate and what have you, let's get on out there and do some fishing, shall we? Now, if you watch the Port Protection TV show, you might recognize this guy, who happens to be not just a friend, but he's also our neighbor. Yeah, 
<laughs> well, Mr. Baker had a lot of fun last year, but he said, this year, I want the girls with us. And how could you not enjoy Aunt Mary and our Captain Holly? Such sweethearts they are. Go, Holly, go, we got her. <laughs> Oh, I see it. We're we getting it. Oh, nice one. You gotta turn him around. Yep. There we go. Yep. Get him in. Jim, he just makes things more fun. How you doing, Jim? Good, you're done reeling, you're done reeling. Back up. Not yet. And Holly! Holly's got him. Do not lift that sideways, Holly. Holly, do not lift that. Honey, you can't lift that like this when you bet it. You gotta turn like this. Okay? Holly, he did a wonderful job. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank goodness for little boots, huh? <laughs> Holly's used to no space right here on our on our boat. Oh, 
Jim, yours is biggest. What else is new? <laughs> Program, Jim. Holy! You, you gotta, gotta pull. You gotta pull you back. Gotta pull back up. that way. Pull that way. There you go. Yeah! Woo! He breaks our. What you got, Captain? Got me king. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's headed for the kelp bed. Should we have that boat back there net him for us? Go hit those halibut now. Yep. You know why? Just for the halibut. He's a bleeder. Wow. You know the girls are bigger than yours, right? <laughs> halibut fishing is an entirely different animal in itself. It's pond fishing on steroids. Deep dropping is its technical term. Captain D is going to describe to you what we used and how we did it. I don't know if it makes any difference, but. Jim says, hey, I, he was up here fishing a few years ago, and these guys had these glow beads put on there. We made all these rigs. They had all this glow and stuff. We put all that glow on there. I don't know if it matters, but we've had a really successful week of halibut fishing. We just haven't spent a lot of time having to catch our halibut. So, you know, we're fortunate, but I think little things like that, that's a 14 aught Addy a hook. Uh, I called Dave Addy. A, yeah, I'll send you some, no problem. We hooked him up, made up, made up, made him up with these leaders. Um, that thing's caught a lot of fish this week. 
It's had a lot of lot of wear, um, and that hook is still as sharp as you can possibly buy one. So I just want to thank him again. It's been huge for the salmon industry, and I'm not having with fishing without one. No, I'm kidding. They're, they're at home. We didn't bring them today. Yes. I'm getting cold. Oh, oh. double! Double! On, double! On. double. Okay, here we go again. You ready? Yeah. There we go. Watch the weight. Girl, I'm not a man. Hey, you got that net? Get the net. Get the net. Oh, Holly, you got the net? Get the net. <laughs> Which one's bigger? Well. Where it'd have been bigger, I guarantee you. The double tap. It's funny, Dad and Jim both walked up to look at the depth sounder, and right as they walked up, Dad's rod went out. <laughs> <laughs> so you took it from him? I assisted. <laughs> well, I know what some of you are thinking. Don't halibut get really big? Well, as a matter of fact, they do. So check this one out that's been caught by who else other than Captain Dave, the man known for catching big fish. No, there ain't no seeing it. Oh. Loins. We got loins. You might want to get a pair of spear right now. I'm not kidding you. If he's not foul hooked, okay. it's really big. Are the numbers getting bigger? <laughs> Boy, I could really use Zach right now. He's better at pulling these great big ones up than I am. It's wrapped up in something else or got a rod reel on it. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's kind yeah. of what it acts like. Yeah, something dragging. Yeah. <laughs> Liz, you want to catch it? Yeah. You're doing a wonderful job. There he is, boys. Pretty, Jim. There you go. That'll do it. Grab the hook. Grab the hook. Grab the hook. Grab the hook. Hurry, hurry, hurry. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. I got it, but I'm gonna need help. Somebody take this rod, please. Got it. Right. Got it. I have the rod. Oh, I don't, I don't have him anymore. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. Let me get up there with you. Open the door. Big door wider. Oh, my. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> 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 I have the wrong egg. That's five footer. Sixty inches. Five footer. Sixty inches. One hundred and nine pounds. I believe that. I believe it too. 
blown on. Never fought. Hell, I didn't fight harder than that yesterday. Oh, got off. It's all in the way you fight them. Can't spaz out. <laughs> in the wrist. It's in the wrist, boys. Right in the wrist. Well, we got them. So, but instead of going to the main camp, we went around the corner over to Point Baker. We went to the lodge that Holly and I rented, and we let the kids over at Colder Mountain Lodge take care of them. All right, go ahead. <laughs> We're timing you. Oh, no. <laughs> That's our show, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, because I'm here to tell you, we had fun. I cannot thank you enough, Mr. Baker, for this golden opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Thank you, Miss Molly Baker. Thank you, Port Protection. We had fun. Thank you, Golden Mountain Lodge, for putting up Holly and I. Thank you, Alaska Game and Fish. Did I mention we had fun? See you next time.